You think because cutting heads off is okay? It doesn't matter what I think. I think it is okay. Because Why? It is the, because it is. That's it. Okay, so we've got, uh, that's Melbourne City there. We're going to South Melbourne to the supermarket there and we're going to go talk to the public about what we just saw at the gas chambers over there at um, Diamond Valley Pork. So let's do it. Yeah, so we've just been to a slaughterhouse to see the pigs being, you know, go to their death for an unjustifiable reason when we have um, options like this. You know, just a burrito, some beans and rice, a bit of vegan chicken. Not, not every place has vegan chicken, but you're still going to get your guacamole, beans and rice and some vegetables around the wrap. What's the big deal? Why would you fund the horrific cruelty and abuse of animals when you can just have this? We're out here at the front of Coles in South Melbourne and we've got some independent uh, animal rights activists here showing uh, people as they're walking into the supermarket, you know, what happens to animals so they can eat their body parts and byproducts and milk and eggs and stuff. Supermarkets where it all goes down. It's just where uh, consumers either choose to be cruel or can choose uh, to liberate animals from, you know, their exploitation. I remember the Vegan Easy booklets. That's what we first used to hand out back in the days. When I first started. What's, your, what's with the animal abuse justification, mate? We're the dominant species. I'll throw you in the ocean with a shark. I've actually said that in a debate about being the apex predator. And I've said, we'll throw you in the ocean with a shark and see how much of an apex predator you are. So he basically used my line of basically answered his own justification with a vegan response in one sentence, didn't he? How ridiculous. So his son looked at the, the screen there. I said, that's what happens to animals so we can hit their body parts. And he kind of looked over at his son like, yep, yep. Like, are you going to tell him, mate, or do we have to? Security's here. Management to put the stuff here? Uh, yeah, we are, we're allowed to do it. Yeah, it's public land here. No, it's, it's in front of the private property, mate. It's in front, but this is our public land here. Okay. Yeah. How long are you guys going to be here? Uh, until the world goes vegan. We wouldn't be here if people weren't buying animal products, gas chambering pigs. That's why we're here. We're just at the gas chambers in um, Diamond Valley Pork at Laverton in Victoria here. We don't want people to buy this. That's all right. Yeah. So when people stop buying these products and stop putting animals in these places, we won't be here. We'll do something else for a job. But do you reckon people are going to stop buying in a couple of hours or a few hours? Um, well, maybe, maybe you might. I don't... <laughs> You don't eat animals? I'm a vegan, mate. You're a vegan? I'm vegetarian, not a vegan. Oh. Yeah. Let me call me one. Well, vegetarian's not vegan, but... They're trying to escape, aren't they? They're trying to escape. Be vegan, it's much better. What's your opinion? What's your opinion about this? It doesn't matter what's opinion or not. You it's violent? It's violent or not violent. Is it cruel? I think it is, and maybe I think it's not. But it doesn't is it, mean, this is good? It doesn't matter. I'm Jewish, so I'm not eating that part. What do you eat? Kosher? Yes. So they cut their head off fully conscious? Correct. But evil. You don't suffer. It's evil. Well, you think it's evil. No. I don't. From the animal's perspective, but it's I evil. Don't. So it's okay though. It's okay to cut someone's head off? I can have my own opinion mm. and you can have your own. Mm. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean you agree to disagree. You can't You think cutting heads off is okay? It doesn't matter what I think. I think it is okay. Because Why? It is the, because it is. That's it. Yeah. Why don't you just I eat wanna plants? Eat, I want to eat the meat. It doesn't matter what you think. You want to eat dead animals? Why don't you just eat vegan uh, burgers? Much, it's much better for the well, animals. I don't want to. Why not? Because I don't want you. So what you're, you what you're you? choosing to be cruel. Well, I'm choosing to be cruel. You're choosing to be cruel to animals uh, for I no reason. Be, oh, yes. If you can live with that, you can live with that. I do. It's I'm horrible. Thanks so much. Have a lovely day. Uh, okay.
the lady was like disgruntled about this, disgruntled with one comment. Like, why isn't she more disgruntled about the screen than be disgruntled with us? You know, why isn't she upset about that, what they're doing to the animals for a dinner plate, rather than being disgruntled with us, upset with us for pointing it out? So this is where people get the blame game completely wrong. Instead of blaming themselves, it's easier to just point at the activists and go, you know, you have your opinion, I have mine. Well, why don't you just get pissed off with that with us? You know, it's completely, what, it, what they're trying to do is shift the blame, it's blame shifting. She's showing her daughter, look. She's a good parent yeah, for yeah. not hiding that from her kid. She's an honest parent. This is just the Australian meat industry. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Meat, dairy, dairy cows go here, they get shot in the head. Cut, yeah, that's cut what I'm saying because I'm fully a vegetarian myself. Vegetarian. And yeah. we love anyone. When you love someone, you cannot kill. Yeah. So, so that's, that's why I'm against with that who is uh, yeah. killing the harm that animals. Yeah. I'm really upset myself and hurting myself. Yeah. Myself. So all the paneer, yogurt, um, yeah. dairy, Cheese producing yeah. the the cows that produce the milk for this, they yeah. all go to the slaughterhouse so, to be so killed. So that's really sad, and yeah. really, I'm really, um, it's really hurt myself. You yeah. Know? Thank you guys. I really, I really love you guys. Thank you very much. You are doing good job, brother. Thanks, brother. You and try the the you. vegan alternatives for yeah. the for the dairy products instead excellent. of the milk from the cows that get slaughtered. Instead of the eggs, try the, the plant based. Excellent. You know. I really uh, love you guys. Thank you very much. Thanks, really Thanks brother. Thank you, brother. Love you too, mate. <laughs> It's only been a few hundred people come past already. It's like they're in a vortex of vegan activists and they have to walk through it. Like there's, there's only one way and it's through us. You're either getting a pamphlet or getting a face full of slaughterhouse footage. What, what, what do they do worse than stab people in, do they, than stab animals in the throat for a burger? What do they do in China, man? I'm a no. vegetarian. Don't, don't, don't they, start. They, they murder animals for dairy too, you know that, yeah, eh? Yeah, well they murder, they, Why they should, fucking put people in camps, bro. Don't what, here in Australia? No, in China. No, I'm talking about here in Australia, there's slaughterhouses for animals, not for humans. I know, man, but So, like, so you tell me shit, it's worth? There's a lot of better activism to do. Why? Why? What you got about, rights here? What about people? You, you've got rights here, do animals have rights here? Look, look, listen, man. I don't, I don't eat animals. I don't you eat, eat animal you products. eat animal products. They get exploited and killed for dairy and eggs too. Oh man, I, I, I don't drink milk either, bro. I'm, I'm basically a vegan. You're basically a vegan. Yeah. Okay. Then why do you oppose us speaking up for the animals? I don't. Then why are you, why are you opposing? Why are you going? Oh, I should speak up for humans first, like yeah, because, before animals. Because humans, humans got rights here. Well. Yeah, humans, they have rights are you suffering? Everything. You suffering here? I'm, I'm suffering. always suffering. You're looked after. Yeah, yeah. Always suffering. <laughs> Mm. If he was on a slaughterhouse truck, I'd be speak, speaking up for him as well. Like when people say they're vegetarian, sometimes I don't really feel that they're being honest, usually. Um, but they could be, they could well and truly be a vegetarian. Sometimes I feel like it's just a way of like avoiding the, the, the chat about animal rights. But obviously, um, vegetarians sometimes feel they're, they're in this comfort zone of they're doing enough. So then when we start pointing out the eggs in the dairy that they're still attached to, they have this exact same defensive response as someone who doesn't want to let go of meat. Um, sometimes vegetarians are actually harder because they're in more of a comfort zone. They feel like, you know, leave me alone, at least I'm doing this. But most of the horrific cruelty and violence and murder happens in the eggs and dairy industry anyway. It's just like, can't oppose one and not oppose the others makes no sense because all you're doing is you're displacing the flesh for eggs and dairy which is a, pro a product of exactly the same thing in every way is there someone who i can identify as the organizer not really craig with the sea shepherd has the table but there's actually it's not really like it yeah okay yeah. was that the five day vigil no oh, i worked i think i worked at some of the five day one which was during the day. Yeah. Were you there for that? Yeah. Was that, because I, I do recall at one point that was when the owner of that business started cooking a barbecue. Were you there on that? I wasn't on there that day. I was on there the fourth or fifth day. Okay. Apparently yeah. a lot of the policemen were affected by that day because they had to spend a lot of time at the slaughterhouse. Uh, oh, it might have been a different one. Certainly when I was there, there weren't any. Do you mean affected as in seeing the pigs on the trucks? Yeah, because they were there for like, a lot of the police were there for five days in a row, seeing 20 trucks full of pigs and smelling the feces and hearing the pigs screaming. I just remember 
being a game of cat and mouse as to which gate we brought in, yeah. which gate we uh, the trucks got brought in. As to whether they Have got. you seen from inside there? Uh oh. This is um actually inside the chamber in Laberton. Yeah. Have you seen that? No interest in it. No really. I was wondering why you're not interested in uh, seeing the pig slaughter, uh, if you I'm eat just, them. I'm, but I'm, I'm not here to engage in a conversation about what you're protesting about. I'm here to make sure that... I mean, like, food. in terms of, like, a consumer of pork products. Yeah, so, again, we're going to go around in circles. Yeah. I'm not here to engage in a, in a conversation yeah. about what you're protesting about. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm not. So I won't engage yeah. in that conversation. Yeah, yeah. All right. It's just interesting how you're not interested where the food comes from, though, if you're putting it in your mouth, you know what I mean? I don't know, you don't have to respond, but it's just, I'd be interested in where my food comes from. This is the conversations that you are having with people okay. and getting up in their, in their face. And, sorry, and if they said they don't want to engage with you about a conversation and you're still trying to force that conversation with people, that's when we might have issues with people. Here. No, not at all. all. Not at all. Not forcing anything. No, it's just, I was just well, wondering. Because some police do engage in it. Well, I've already it's, just a it's, not, it's just a personal idea of like. No, so again. Yeah. It's going around a circle. Like I'm, yeah. not, I'm not being aggressive or forcing anything. I just thought, you know, because no, you've been to the slaughterhouse before and, and a lot of people, police were affected by so it. Again, we're going around a circle. Yeah. I told you I'm not going to engage in that conversation. Yeah, okay. Right now, well, we don't have to. Yeah. That conversation. Yeah, just checking. Just and, double che I was just double checking. And triple checking and quadruple checking and however many times you want to. Because sometimes they do twice and then they go, oh, yeah, actually, you know. Yeah. So just, no hard feelings, Matt. I was just, just no, no, that's just, all right. Uh, just giving it a try. And look, I, I understand. I understand that you, you are here and you've got, you know, you have an interest in whatever the topic is specifically. Animals being murdered for food. Yeah. Horrible. Um, that that's your thing. That's entirely your right to be here protesting yeah. about that. Yeah. And I wouldn't say that I'm aggressive protester right now, or in your face, and just having a discussion. But if people don't want to engage with you, and they can walk away and we'll just say no, thank you, mate. See you later. And I go, okay, no worries. Yeah. But then not, you're, but you're not willing. What I'm saying is, you're not willing to respect them saying you've got. They have to walk away from you. Is that the way? Well, that has I'm to only go? standing here and they're walking past. So I'm, I'm not no, going to no, chase no. them down the road or anything. You know, then no, no, there'll be harassment or something like. No, but that's, that's where I'm going with you. Just keep asking the same question. I get concerned if people are ringing up Triple O when I'm not here, mm -hmm. saying that people are getting up in their faces. The, there's a police station that is quite literally 200 metres up that way. So there's people that are on their way to and from home markets and things that. Will, we could say, hey, there's some animals being abused down the road at Laverton. Can you help us out? <laughs> well, you can if you want. You can ring Triple O with that job if that's what you want to do. No, I wouldn't. It's all, legal, it's all legally sanctioned, isn't it? So you'd be on there, so, the team of the... You know, you'd just do, be doing your job protecting the corporation like you have to, so... You wouldn't have any personal power over that, so... But yeah, it's, it's kind of it's upsetting that, you know... Pigs suffer and die in a gas chamber and we're getting kind of getting policed about talking to people about it, but we're not really committing the violence, you know, we're just trying to talk to people about it. As I said, you've got your opinions on the matter, I'm not going to engage in it. Nah, I understand. Yeah. He was interested, he just didn't want to engage. Yeah, point it Maybe, you know what I reckon? Usually police officers will each watch it. I think that he was too, like, emotional to watch it, or he didn't want to become emotional. He seemed like a really, a guy who really has this real big shield over him. And he's like this peppy, positive attitude, da 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 da. But then confronting with something like that, like I don't think like he would do very well confronting his emotion like that. You're I have an trying, agenda. No, you're, you're not trying to offend me. What you're trying to do is engage people with a conversation. Yeah, I understand I'm really that. interested in your perspective, that's all. I know, um, as, I've, as I've explained. I know, I've heard, <laughs> I've heard it multiple times. Yeah, no, that's right. <laughs> How long does your screen last for? Three hours. So, okay. <laughs> so we might, I think they said about an hour. Later. Yeah, yeah. No, I was just, I was just intrigued. Yeah. Intrigued really yeah. Tell me, uh, How long does your screen last? Three. Yeah. Got a good battery on it. What is it? Is it like a caravan one that runs yeah. off a twelve volt? Yeah. Create yeah. trouble. We respect your right to protest. Ah, no, appreciate that. It's good living in a democracy. That's uh, it certainly is. That's the joys of it. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your afternoon. You too. Right. Thanks, Thank man. you. Nice to meet you. Cheers. See you later. But you know what I found funny is that he would ask us technical things about the TV, mm -hmm. which is engaging. Yeah. All right, but he won't engage in the topic of the animals on the screen, but he'll engage in the screen, which is interesting because he was engaging, so he contradicts himself there. Like, yeah. either don't engage at all, but he's yeah. picking and choosing what he yeah. will engage in. True, so, true. however someone reacts, you cannot dictate what they're going to do in the coming months, you know. I think a reaction is better than no reaction, for sure. A positive reaction doesn't even mean they're going to change. Yeah, it could just be telling you what you want to hear. It's really hard to gauge, but 
stopping and having a debate usually is a good sign because we win the debate. <laughs> <laughs>